Okay, up top on the Raptors, just waiting for a push in. Frenzy good enough for one kill, immediately dashes out. Baby J is right there. But the gunfire from both teams winning out. And this one in particular goes in favor of Rise. They hold the advantage after the ensuing fray. Corey and Zachary are going to try to keep this one intact for their team. They've got a tougher job to do now, so there's Spike being planted. Well, it's still ricocheting over their heads inside of A-Heaven. One below down in Hell. Zachary will need to contest this particular area. Neptune firing as best as he can from behind that screen. Up pushes Shanks. Corey's still not really moving a muscle here. Unsure of where to go. Zachary flanking. God, that's a big sword. Over by ramp. Unfortunately for him, he's missed out an opportunity onto Shanks. He's going to get heard, finished off by Shanks, and now Corey is next one up. Good enough for one, but not more. Strut play, and it's going to be the entry in through main. Rockus is tasked with dealing with this. He does so quite well onto Neptune, the Seeker next in line. Unfortunately, he'll get shot from the back by Derek, who is coming from a position that he didn't quite see. A blind spot from Rockus, abused by Rise. The entry for that, uh, that wolf, unfortunately, stopped by them, by the fact that an ice wolf goes up. Spike goes down yet again. Riser 3 for 3 on this objective play. Shanks will now push screens, making some noise before darting into Elbow, waiting very patiently to see if around that Nebula, oh. somebody from FaZe will take the bait. They do, they get pushed in. Rise capitalizes off of it. Baby J, what are you doing? You get absolutely... So eight no. players up in this server, Michael. Yeah, in this post plan, and it's... The real story here is, of course, going to be the sheriffs. How many of those nasty shots that we saw from Corey earlier can be landed by FaZe? Looks like there's another from Corey, but he's finally dealt with by Poise, who gets a second as he challenges the link from spawn. It's just Super Mendo in a one versus one, and he's got Baby Bay on <laughs> the guns in sync. Let's see if it works. And the first shot from Baby Bay misses. He'll head on the other side of the Astral, the Cosmic Divide. No, Corey stopped as he flubs the satchel. <laughs> Neptune connects, and only one showstopper is good enough. A successful plan as Baby Bay can't hear it on the other side of the wall. He's got those knives ready and waiting to fire on out. Baby Bay will now need to loop around, just narrowly missing out on his target. Rise still up all five with that spike on the ground. Baby Bay about to walk into that cypher tripwire. Shanks falls, so at least one kill on the side of FaZe. A second is added to it as Baby J paid off by Neptunes. Those paint shells doing so much work. Rockus is the last body to be put in a cat standoff here with not the weaponry that he really wants, but it doesn't matter when he's hitting shots like that. Zachary, side by side, they're able to take two down a piece. Corey won as well. They are putting in so much work. Superman Neptune now to hunt down Corey and Baby J. Just make it Corey, and he is packed up nice and different name, at least. Boom, but. Boom. Bomb Buddy is cool, too. I like that. Boom, but the Bomb Buddy. The bomb, bomby boom, buddy? No, not quite. Baby J, first leadoff kill. Finally, FaZe gets that first blood. It's not for long, though. Shanks able to take down Corey. They're just trading back and forth. Hard to tell who has the full control. The Baby Bay gets two. That's a nice play from him. All rests on the shoulders of Poise, but it's a three-piece from Baby Bay. And finally, FaZe gets on the board. Hale is slow and methodical. You do have Corey ready to receive it. The only question is if he's going to be prepared. There goes how the bird bang, and it's going to push him off as long as the gravity well, Nova Pulse, what have you. So the control for heaven is firm, and now it's on to B. And the gunfire from FaZe hits its mark. Down goes Neptune. No paint shells available. No showstopper either. Very close, but Rise doesn't care. They're going to bring back Neptune. Very, very quickly fires off those paint shells. Down goes Shanks. Resurrection obviously helping out Rise quite a lot. And it's allowed them to double up in numbers. No flawless though as Shanks has fallen. Be heaven for both the last two players. Now last players. Rock as falls. Baby J in a horror of his teammate getting dragged down. Derek goes. Will his teammate and Neptune join him? No, he won't. Rock time. And there go the Seekers, and Corey's gonna have to bat them away, falling off. Zachary's there as well, doing what they can with utility, but he looks down. Zachary on one. He's not able to stop the assault for now. Takes out poise before he's traded off. Showstoppers, and it connects. Whoa. Direct hit. Neptune is just so good in this matchup. You cannot slow him down at all. Baby Bay's blocked out by this green sage wall, but Derek has the cheeky angle. Wow. It's all up to the other baby. J. What can he do? Nebula confronts him as he tries to head through their spawn. Will he go up to be heaven instead? That's they've got their rifles, they've got their util, they've got their shields. 
Can they transfer this into a win? <laughs> Surely here. They drop the Viper's Pit in mid. That's going to make it harder for Neptune to make his typical play at mid. Baby Bay is going to get two... Poised. All the intel that comes from Cypher's ultimate is huge. And not able to use that is particularly troubling. Eric is only potentially two kills away from a resurrection and could bring Poise back from the afterlife. Then there's the judge <laughs> in action, Rockus, splattering Neptune. Do we see a flawless round to end the half? Eric spots the intel, the cam that's been set up by the Cypher of Baby J. They need to do something here. Baby J through the wall! Two big kills. Is how the defenders have excelled in the pistol round. That wasn't the story here. Rise was able to bully them, and they're going to continue to do that again. An immediate heal as two kills for Rise come out. Three oh, to wow. add to that one. Corey's dropped. He's the only one with a kill in this pistol round. Baby J and Rockus to try and hang on. Rise want to put this one away very quickly, and we could have had a break yeah. that ends up being longer than the next three rounds for Rise to win this actual map. It depends on how quickly they're able to do this. <laughs> oh, no. A swing from Shanks onto Rockus. Spike retrieved by Baby J. He's got the ghost in hand. Good enough for one kill onto Shanks, but there's just two. They love running these on FaZe, as they realize they don't really have a lot of recourse, but FaZe are at a point where they cannot just simply sit back and forfeit this round. Rockus forfeits his life though as phases take will be through oh. b with male in mind heading up to b heaven Corey and baby bay are there what can they possibly do with this too much damage being done we're not gonna get to see the shotgun in action zachary and baby bay are down and this one is basically all over but the crying through the blind fire derek manages to hit his baby plan out of their misery take a look at the scoreboard real quick everybody superman the bottom frag four rise has the same amount of kills as the top frag for FaZe. What we're also, we're also seeing along with that result is kind of unexpected. No, absolutely. And Rise is just going to keep this work up now. They're on full buy. FaZe was not because of the way it treated that economy. That round was do or die and almost a flawless. It's raucous against the world. Shank says no thanks. And it's coming from Rise, though. Over by defender spawn. It could be quick. And down goes Baby J. Rise. Oh. So good on these entries. Derek, in particular, the shock dart takes out Corey. Baby Bay flashed as the guiding light goes around the corner. And from above, Astra doing what she can to try and either stun them or yank them into gravity wells or just simply produce some nebulas. One for Raucous, but he's the only player on phase to find the score sheet just yet. Zachary will join him. And then we'll also join him in the afterlife. Rise continues their s at all. Baby J's flash, Poise will push up. He's got the frenzy in his hands. So they're trying to go thrifty on this one. That's a little bit of confidence on their end. Maybe pick up some of these weaponry. Poise is the only one to find kill so far for Rise. His phase doubles up on that. Yeah. Good phase an advantage here, and he'll trade back and forth. But any trades will, of course, favor none other than phase. They already have a numbers advantage, though. They're down to just a single advantage. Maybe they manages to catch Shanks looking the wrong way, and it's Derek in a 1v3 with the spike down as well. As Recon Dart will find at least one. Firing away at the window. Find through this nebula, but no, they're all just spraying away, and it'll be Zachary to fall. Or would have changed there if they had gambled on the Thrifty and just gone full buy on that previous round. It would have worked Maybe. out, but hey, they went full buy this time, and it's good enough to net Zachary. He was mm. strong in the previous round. Won't be able to make any noise this time. Astra's down. It's a cosmic divide as well that is not available for FaZe, so the ultimate of Astra will have to wait for round five or onward. Speaking of ultimates, Eric on the Sova manages to net rockets. You can use that for intel or for dueling, and in this case, it's good enough for a kill. Neptune finds one as well. Rise up to a 5v2 phase. Some stumbles after the success that they had on that previous round. 30 seconds to go for them to right the ship. Parker, I'm seeing a lot of isolated 1v1s here for phase, left. and obviously when you add Derek picking that player off there, Using a Hunter's Fury, it gets even worse. Here comes Baby J's Breach into the site, and it falls flat. It's just Corey now by main. Again, why are these players not entering together? I know there's limited time, but you've got to make a chance happen. Instead, you get all these 1v1s. These are very easily able to trade off, too. The problem is, is that they usually forfeit that first pick, or they surrender one of the later picks, which costs them an advantage that they so desperately need. No picks here just yet, and Baby Bay misses a shot on the poise, but there it is! Corey and Baby J pick up two of their own. FaZe tripling up on the score sheet now, leaving Shanks and Derek as the last two members of Rise. Rise were hoping for a fifth round mm -hmm. through this sixth. Shanks is flanking, though. If there's no intel, he could do some serious damage. There's one on flank. But the collapse out through FaZe, and oh, look at this, the Hunter's Fury. 
coming out fast, and it's actually Rise on top. Tori the only one to get to an entry, and he shut down as he gets on top of Pipe. It's all on Zachary and Rockus now. Zachary does have sight control. What does that really amount to? Quickly, one going over to Vents, the other up to Heaven. It's the Astra to try and suck them off of that. And no, it's going to be a stun on the Zachary. There's another orb in the middle, working its magic. Shock Dart goes out. Does it connect? Not enough. Not what they need. Zachary trying to hold this one in. Can't do it. Derek takes him down, and Rockus in U-Haul is buried. Derek sits on that defeat towards Garden. Up B-Long. Pain shells will come out. Will they hit onto Poise? Poise immediately moves, but the gate is there. Can't be spotted. 10 HP. Baby Bay collapses on him. Corey downs Derek as well. So Faye is strong on wow. this entry. A significantly better showing from Faye thus far. Spike goes down too, so the objective in their favor. We've got control Let's... of the site. So the retake from Rise is going to come in from Elbow. Baby Bay is good enough for that shot. He's looking for more. He's feeling it. He'll pick up his third kill. A fourth one is on the menu, but Baby J takes in. And to the right, that's Superman sitting in that position. Neptune very vulnerable, but hey, Superman finds two. Neptune one of his own. Immediately with the snap of a finger, it's three kills, but Ooh. Baby J has something to say about that one. Neptune swings a little bit too recklessly, and FaZe capitalizes off of that. Another kill or two like that, and it's a very winnable round for FaZe. Baby J, those only on 13 HP, so this could be tough. The plant? We're at least starting the plant. Rockus down, and there's Shank. It's off of the back foot. That's a smart thing to do. You can't afford a gun. Oh. You can't afford an operator. Oh, but Baby Bay makes it work. Down goes Superman. He picked off Corey earlier. Oh, and another for Baby Bay. Rockus picks up one of his own. The Seeker will hit, but not before the damage has been done. Derek and Poised. The last two alive. Knives still out. Can't touch Poised at all. Swings into U-Haul. Loses it to Rockus. Derek in a 1v3. Spike is down. Derek can make this work, but all three targets are far apart. He spots the head. Can't hit the shot. It's like threading a needle. It's a tough one to do. Expects there to be over. U-Haul doesn't know that there's one to his left. This is going to be the problem. It's creeping up, and it's Zachary to finish him off and seal the deal. Five's going to make an aggressive play through aim eight. And just like that, they're trying to push in Baby Bay, for, or Baby J, rather, finds the very first kill. Rolling Thunderhawks, Shanks back, and Baby Bay, the other baby, can capitalize off of that. Showstopper pulled out. Corey connects. Wow. These ultimates are doing so much work and like that. Every member of Rise is falling. Neptune looks the wrong way. It's Derek in a 1v5. <laughs> How quickly the tides turn in this matchup, leaving FaZe only one round away from tying us up after the first half. Uh, Derek yes, now through Vents? No. You want to say it, Michael? I so, Rise on attack was so formidable on the previous map. We'll see if they're able to make that same amount of noise. Split and bind don't exactly play out the same way, though, so not exactly good enough to base it off of that, but round one with pistols working out well. It is at least for Poise, too. Because of him, Rise now have a sizable advantage. A 5v3. Poise taking some damage in the process. Shank seeing two of them and a quick stun. As he gets intel and the spike goes down, he will walk away over to showers, and with it, Poise now being healed up by that regrowth from Sage. Back to full HP. That's teamwork, isn't it? Corey lobs some paint shells in and will try to follow up on U-Haul with them at just 20 HP. The boom bot will go out. Target prioritization is an absolute nightmare on that one. So Neptune will now need to look to his left. Down goes Rockus and the blinds that round. What ended up being a relatively pivotal one. Four phase as they walked in and they got the kill. And look at that. Outgunned is Neptune. You might want to get a pick here or there. Swap up weapons. I don't know, but they're definitely fighting for it. Phase of the advantage. The cosmic divide is out. Derek finds the first kill for Rise. Spike goes down two. Zachary waiting for this to fade so that he can go over towards U-Haul. Finds himself in another dimension. Confused as to where he is. Teams will trade out kills. Poi from now head through showers. Shanks in the midst of the site. Gunned down by Rockus. As phase of control of the back of A. Whereas it's Rise on the front. Spike continuing meanwhile to tick away. And it's Superman to try and hold it. But he can't do it. So... It's definitely borked. I think you could say that. I don't know Shanks, what that means. Shanks taken down as Neptune gets technically the first kill. So Rise opens things up, but they gain no advantage from it whatsoever. Borked is like, I it's broken. Oh, okay. I, I can think of another actor. Bork is also Blade of the Rune King, so. Oh, oh, nice shot from Corey onto the head of Derek. Say goodbye, showstopper out from Corey. Connects onto Neptune. Hey, wow. shells for added measure as he just pushes on up. Vandal in hand for him. He'll look over towards Market to see who's next in line. And also coming from Spawn, it's Poised, but Poised with a nice shot on that one. Disadvantage here for Rise. They might want to save it for later. 
The wrap over towards Elbow, and oh, that works out. Down goes Baby Bay. Now it's a two versus two, but Bacchus is in a great position. He'll lose to Superman! Incredible gunplay for man. It's just Zachary now, and he's all the way in defender spawn. He was the sole A player, now he's got to rotate back in the post plant. Oh boy, this is going to be a tricky retake. An inhuman effort by Superman, Michael, was really something to behold. So Zachary will walk in blind, unsure of what to do, and maybe might give himself some cover with these nebulas doing just that. One went over towards elbow, the other on top of the spike. Unsure, as he sees the cage right now over by Garden. By continuing to tick away, he's gonna get flash disoriented. They fire through the smoke wow. as they hear it. Rockus will fire from behind it. Zach is watching the other angle. Rockus gets the kill on a Derek with that shock dart firing through this cosmic divide. But oh, it's an absolute calamity, a cluster if I've ever seen it. Leaving Superman and Shanks in a 2v4. Spike is down. Now Superman will need to work some magic. It's all on Shanks. Superman falls to Zachary, who's having a heck of a round. Not just good utility usage, but also great gunplay, too. Shanks needs to hurry. He's on it. No! He gets one kill. Baby Bay pops off it. They reach the halfway point. And the spike is... But I, I, I've, like, wanted to say it. I, I, I don't know why. It's it, They both make sense, though. Yeah, I've this is the point of contact. And there go out the Seekers. There goes the bang as well. The flashbang dropped out. Rockers tries to answer back. A kill on the poised phases. Guns in their mark. Superman one. Shanks another. U-Haul pushing on up. Shanks is better for two kills. They'll immediately pull out another Phantom, hopefully with some more bullets in it. Out go the Tremors in front of his very eyes. Spike Carrier killed, though. It'll need to be retrieved. It's Baby J in a 1v2. Rise to have very little time to work. Baby J swings out. Not want to be in face position right now. now. Another one eye and a nice flash over by Fountain will force a couple members of Rise to fall back. So Bolt going out. Baby J nice. takes down Poise. That's the opening pick that they needed. There's another gun on the ground if they want to give it to Baby Bay. Ooh. Nice shot from Baby J. A follow-up more in the future for him. Baby Bay and Baby J. Goodness gracious. Who's point against them, but they'll be okay from a financial perspective. And FaZe knows this. They've doubled up. No, but nobody can slow down Neptune. But in hand, he's good enough for two kills. He bobs right into the middle of the site. It's theirs for the taking, and they can get that spike down very quickly. And that's exactly what Superman is going to do. Spike down in the middle of the site, 30 seconds into the round, and they're going to fall off, leaving the last three members of phase to try and retake as best as they can. None of them are close. Two will go up top to heaven, one will head through the vents. Anything to stop them? Not right now. You don't need to necessarily challenge this angle. Corey's got the showstopper out. He'll fire on over towards the back of U-Haul. It doesn't get the kill that he wants. Neptune sees the breach. Down Baby J goes. It was a flawless round for FaZe, and it looks like oh! the same for Neptune! Corey was such an assertive flank there. Didn't wait, didn't hesitate at all. And clearly for Rise, there was not enough flank watch, not enough presence to make sure that they aren't going to have somebody coming from behind. Beautiful stuff there for FaZe. Obviously, you got to hand it to Baby Bay with those two early picks as well. Not whatsoever. Spike going down and in the midst of the nebula. There's Shanks firing away as best he can. Neptune holding elbow. Who's first to be able to contest him? Who's going to dare to try to stop them? Clock running out. Time running out for phase. They want to meet version one down below in the lower bracket. Shock start goes over the shoulder, but there's Corey to capitalize off of that. Oh. Derek drops. Corey picks up two big kills. Two HP in a dream. Baby J is shut down. Corey a third kill. He needs to be the hero here. Superman watching him. Flanking around a flick of the wrist, and Superman picks up his third kill. Corey's got two, and he gets 